Are you down there? Yeah. How are you doing? All right. I'm fine, yeah. So, listen, I mean, obviously the, the uh, bunny men and all of the things was very turbulent and everything, and now you've started a new band. You've had a personnel change already. You've only been going a week. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so who's changed this time and why so soon? We changed the drummer. <laughs> right, why? Um, uh, you know, the usual. Right, OK. Well, it's going to stay settled now, though, is it? Very much so. Right, OK, then. Well, apart from you and Will, who's in the band? Tony McGuigan on drums and Leon De Silva on bass. Right, and this is the debut, apart from, what is it, one session in France under a different name, was yeah, it? Yeah, it was a different name, different time. Right, OK. What are you going to play for us first, then? Zephyr. OK, Electrofiction. Where's me reverb gone? Put his reverb on. We found his reverb. Is it there? It's there. It is. On Draft Arcade.
Excellent stuff. Zephyr, uh, the first number live from the debut ever performance of Electrofiction by Bayi McCulloch and Will Sargent. Three more songs to come before the end of the programme. If I'm live from Manchester, the Palace of Glittering Delights. Our live session guests tonight are uh, Will Sargent and Ian McCulloch's new band, Electrofiction. You've already missed one. Here's the second, though, Sister Pain.
uh, performed uh, live in session by uh, Electrofiction. Mac. Hello. Oh, yeah, right. Sounding brilliant, actually. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah. You're pleased. I mean, is it a relief for you to be back with, Will? I mean, is it a relief to hear his guitar lines coming in when you're singing and that now? Yeah, what do you think? Well, you know? I'm sure it must be. I mean, did you... Did well, you... He was, to me, he was always the best guitarist of the 80s. No question, you know. And now the 90s. I mean, obviously, because you've been away on a solo career, did you sort of gradually start to miss it more and more? How did the idea come about of getting back together? Because um, I hated being solo, and I never saw it as being a career. I, there was a time when I wanted the bunny men to finish, and, and that was really the reason it wasn't to go solo. So it wasn't rampant lead singer egomania, then? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Will, you know, he's, he's mega. Right. Did he ever fall out at that time? No, because we didn't. just no. didn't speak for four and a half years. Right. Just think the things to say, you know. Right, fair enough. I mean, it, 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 we won't uh, dwell on the bunny man, but did, was it disappointing when he wanted it to finish? Because you seemed sort of perennially, perennially on the edge of it. Be. I remember you doing that tour with Public Image and New Order around the stage. You just seemed sort of always, no, it always wasn't on with, the No, it wasn't with Pell. It was with... Uh, it was with New Order, definitely. Yeah, it was with New Order, kind of co-headline, and, and with this fantastic band called Gene Loves Jay. Jezebel. Oh, was it? Well, yeah, we couldn't get the comedian that too. So. <laughs> but uh, and we've just come back from Glastonbury as well, didn't you play there? Was, didn't, wasn't it the yeah the, the, the muddiest the, year? <laughs> when was it? About eighty mid eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five. The rainiest weekend in. in it was mega as well. All right. Um, so have you made a record with Electrofiction yet? No, What's we're about to. We're doing a short tour. Um, oh, I've got of, the dates here actually. Yeah. We'll We're doing the tour and then going into the studio to right. bang it out. Right, so you're trying all the songs out live. We're well, not trying them out, we know they're great. Right. You know? <laughs> Fair enough, yeah, yeah. What about this missing album of yours, the one with Johnny Marr? What's happened with that? Because someone nicked the finished masters, didn't they? Yeah, I think the Carpenters had a song, Please Mr. Postman, because <laughs> um, he's got them. Right. They were nicked in speak. Right. So, yeah. I mean, are you... I'm, I'm just incredibly annoying when you finish something. Well, it was, yeah, because it, it was fantastic. And it is, me and Johnny have got kind of cassettes of it, but nothing that you could make a record from. Um, we had a great time. Brilliant experience for me and, uh, and for Johnny as well. So will you ever reconstitute that record, or is it just lost to the ether, that? Um, it might kind of descend from the ether into a few songs anyway. Mm. Um, might kind of wing the way. Right. What about Will? He's doing any more of his ambient uh, records. I know yeah, he can speak for a... himself, but he's no mic. Do you want to come over there? Well, uh, have we got time? Well, it's all right. Any more Glide records, Will? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. Right, see? So it was worth getting him over there, wasn't it? See? Well, he didn't even come over. He oh, just he projected his voice. Oh. That good? He did it with his guitar, actually. <laughs> we can hear it. All right, well, I'll read the dates out in a bit anyway. Play us another song. What's it going to be, now? Who's been sleeping in my head?
old stuff, eh? Who's been sleeping in my head by uh, Electrofiction? Got one more song in the last half hour of the programme. And uh, here are the dates, as promised. Uh, they're in July, starting on the first uh, hometown gig in Liverpool, the Lomax. Uh, second, Sheffield Lead Mill. The fourth, Glasgow King Tuts. The sixth, Birmingham Edwards, number eight. The seventh, Leicester Princess Charlotte. The eighth, Cambridge Boat Race. Tenth, Manchester at the Boardwalk. On the eleventh, at the Fleece and Firkin in Bristol. On the twelfth, Leeds, Duchess of York. The thirteenth, Stoke Wheat Chief. Um, our live session guests tonight are uh, Electrofiction, uh, the new band formed by Ian McCulloch and Will Sargent. The final one from them is Bed of Nails. <laughs> 